Once upon a time, there was a father wolf who went out into the woods to hunt for his family. When in the woods, he suddenly heard a sound. Looking around, he noticed a tiny baby in between the bushes. This is a human baby, said the wolf with a big surprise. He took the baby home out of harm's way. Watching from a distance, Shere Khan the tiger got very upset because he was the one who stole the baby from the humans. Mother Wolf and her cubs love this little baby very much. We will call him Mowgli from now on, said Mother Wolf. From that day on, Mowgli started to live with his wolf siblings in the woods. Mother Wolf took very good care of him, like he was one of her own. In a short time, Mowgli became friends with all the animals. He played games and hung around the trees with them. At the same time, he got to know the jungle. During all that time, Shere Khan, the tiger, kept watching Mowgli from a distance and waited for an opportunity to grab and kidnap him. One day, the wise wolf Akila, Baloo the bear and Bagheera the panther came together and started to talk about Mowgli. Human babies are very smart. Let's bring him up like a jungle boy. Baloo and Bagheera, you will protect him and teach the rules of the jungle. Said Akila. Years went by fast. Baloo the bear was very attentive with his new student. He taught him how to look for nuts and honey climbing the trees. Mowgli listened to Baloo's teaching with all ears. Every day he climbed a higher tree and started to feed himself. Baloo also taught him how to understand the sounds of the jungle. He was proud of his student. Mowgli was running very fast and swimming very good. And Bagheera taught him how to identify the traps humans set up for the animals and how to avoid them. One day, a cub wolf ran into one of these traps. Shere Khan the tiger wanted to hunt this cub wolf and make him his lunch. But acting before the tiger, Mowgli saved the cub from the trap. Shere Khan the tiger lost once again. Balu also taught Mowgli the magic words he can use when there is danger in the jungle. In a very short time, Mowgli learned these words by heart. Mowgli would not be harmed by any animal in the jungle. Realising that he was not going to be able to catch Mowgli alone, Shere Khan went next to Banderlogs, the most dangerous animals in the jungle. He told them about Mowgli. If Mowgli teaches us everything he knows, we'll become the wisest animals in the jungle. One day when Mowgli was making a shelter to protect himself from the storm, the Banderlogs were watching from where they were hiding. They decided to kidnap him when the opportunity came. At sunset, Mowgli was kidnapped by two monkeys and brought into the hills where the jungle was at its thickest. The little boy found himself in the middle of the bander logs. When Mowgli realised that he was kidnapped by the monkeys, he started to think. He had to reach Baloo and Bagheera and let them know. Suddenly, he noticed Chill the Vulture flying up above in the sky. He remembered the magic words Balu taught him. We are the same blood, you and I. Hearing these words, Chill the Vulture immediately realised that Mowgli wasn't a stranger and that he was in trouble. I'm little Mowgli! Could you let Balu and Bagheera know that I'm kidnapped? Of course I will, Mowgli, answered Chill the Vulture and flew off to deliver the message to Mowgli's friends. Banderlogs brought Mowgli to their cold cave, the monkey town. 
This place was a place in the deep jungle that humans abandoned years ago. Even though Mowgli attempted to run away, the Banderlogs outnumbered and caught him. Finding out about Mowgli's kidnapping, Balu and Bagheera asked Ka, the giant snake, for help to save Mowgli. They all came to the monkey town and hid behind a giant statue. From their hideout, they could see Mowgli and hundreds of monkeys around him. They started to wait for the perfect moment to take Mowgli out of there. At the right moment, Ka said, Now is the time! Let's go! Bagheera silently moved to catch the monkeys. Then he started to punch the monkeys surrounding Mowgli with his powerful claws. Banderlogs ran around screaming with fear and one of them called the others for help. Suddenly, Bagheera was surrounded with lots of monkeys. Some other monkeys grabbed Mowgli and put him in a room with closed walls. Mowgli could hear Bagheera fighting with the monkeys. He remembered the water storage under the ruins of the city and he knew that the monkeys were afraid of water. Bagheera, run and jump in the water! Bagheera ran and jumped straight into the water. Balu was also attacked by the monkeys. They started to fight and Balu was hitting the banderlogs with his front claws to protect himself. He was trying his best, but there were too many of the banderlogs. And it was impossible for Balu to fight them by himself. And Bagheera was helplessly watching him from the water, feeling very bad that he could not help his friend. When Balu was struggling with the monkeys, suddenly Ka came out. When Ka started to hit all the monkeys with his giant tail, the monkeys ran away with fear. The monkeys were always afraid of Ka. None of them could face him in a fight. So when they started to run away in the depths of the jungle, Balu was finally free. But when Ka opened his mouth and blew, all the monkeys stood still. Their voices suddenly went away and it suddenly became all quiet. Taking this opportunity, Bagheera jumped out of the water. Mowgli yelled from the tower he was trapped in. I am here, trapped in the tower! Ka swung his mighty tail and managed to break the walls of the tower. Freed from the walls, Mowgli threw himself out. Balu hugged him with love. You okay, Mowgli? Yes, I am. But I'm very hungry and tired. You all have risked your lives to save me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mowgli was also very happy to see Ka on his side. I owe you my life, Ka. Thank you. Mowgli, Balu and Bagheera said goodbye to Ka and head to their homes. Shere Khan the tiger realised that he could never harm someone who had such powerful friendships and moved back into the depths of the jungle, never to return. A long time passed and Mowgli grew up to become a young man. One day he went close to the village where humans lived. He met a woman who immediately recognised him. She realised that he was the son which was kidnapped by a tiger many years ago. She put the little boy next to her in Mowgli's arms. Mowgli was very surprised because this little boy was looking very much like Mowgli's own childhood. But then he also realised that this little boy was his brother and the lady was his mother. Balu, Bagheera and Ka were all watching them. From now on, you'll be next to your family, Mowgli. Whenever you need us, you know the magic words. You are our brother. Don't forget how much we love you. Goodbye, dear Mowgli. His friends said their farewells to Mowgli. Mowgli lived happily ever after with his family but never did he forget the ones who raised him, his family in the jungle.
you're happy and you know 